looks like we've lost the train. Let's check out that tunnel. <laughs> looks like we found the train, Ron. Try not to scratch the paintwork or my dad will kill me. Pick up the speed boost to stay ahead of the train. And watch out for any obstacles. Alright, um, so welcome back to uh, Let's Play Ugly Potter 2 for the PlayStation 1. Uh, or, well, saying Ugly Potter 2 for the PlayStation 1 is a little bit redundant. Never mind. We're in yet another minigame because you know, we, never ca we can never have enough of those. This one actually controls very nicely. Uh, although I kind of wish the stuff would show up a little bit earlier than it does, you know, PS1 draw distance and that and all that jazz. Also this this minigame is unnecessarily difficult uh, because it's made up of two parts and uh, it's like the second part pretty much starts you uh, with the HP that you have at the end of the first part and uh, if you if you die you're you're recovered completely so like why not just start the second part with your full HP? Just makes no sense. It's because we're not doing this in a mine cart. Well, a mine cart it controls much worse than this. And also, that minigame was way more demanding. This one you just need to pass. At least, <laughs> at least this time, Ron isn't gonna be like, Oh, we haven't won quite enough, you need to try harder. <laughs> I don't know, man, I, I think a minecart would really improve the experience. To reach the end of the tunnel soon. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a tunnel. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Um, I am going to die soon because this gets a little bit tricky. Jesus. And the pickups are very, very rare on this stage. See, see what, see, see what I mean about the draw distance and also the curves. And so they died. No, just Ron. Holy shit, that really is the implication that Ron died. I, Jesus! I, I, I kind of wish that if you chose to con uh, to not continue... Almost there, Harry. If you chose like to not continue... It's like a dark alternate timeline that we'll never get to see. This is why I sh I show off these, uh, uh, you know, these end uh, these end game screens, like the the, the fail screens for all of the uh, for all the mini games. Well, not all of them. The ones that I do actually fail, because a lot of them are entertaining, and also just just the reasons they come up for you. Uh, in order to repeat certain uh, certain mini games are just hilarious. Um, but yeah, there there isn't really much, uh, too much more to it. Uh, what, I, what I wanted to say, I would have loved it if if you chose to not continue the game, uh, they would actually have a train uh, run over Harry as he's uh, lying <laughs> next to the tracks. That's messed up, man. That would be pretty damn dark. Excellent. Oh, God. Damn. Yes, they hid a witches and wizards card in this tunnel. Why? There may be, there may be more. I don't know. Why would you do such a thing? It's evil. God I damn. mean, Minecart also had that. Like, uh, 
you had to complete it well enough to get a, a collectible card, which is why I never bothered to collect those in the first game, because that was impossible. Phew! That was really close! I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel! Excellent, Harry! <laughs> There's Hogwarts! Try and land the car in the castle grounds! There's something wrong with the car! I don't have control anymore! Find that tree! <laughs> to the tree and cast a spell at what looks like his mouth. That's a very concise explanation. Yeah. Also, Sheena, if you're watching this, are you still spooked? Because if you are, it's okay. Well, th this tree is freaky as all hell. Yeah. <laughs> so if you take too long, will Ron die in there? Of course not. I don't think I, I I don't actually I don't actually think it really matters how much you charge the spell for this. This is thankfully a very short boss. Yeah. Unlike some of the uh, unlike some of the later ones. By the time Harry and Ron had escaped from the Whomping Willow, the sorting ceremony had already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses, as it had for so many years past. Harry remembered putting the sorting hat on a year ago, and for a few horrible seconds he had feared the hat was going to put him into Slytherin, along with Draco Malfoy. Not Slytherin, eh? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! But of course, he had ended up in Gryffindor, along with Ron and Hermione. As they watched the sorting, Harry noticed that at least one teacher was missing from the staff table. Hang on, where's Snape? And then, from behind him came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Snape, Harry's least favorite teacher. I'm waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the school train. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. You will go immediately to your common room, and I will think about how to punish you. Please don't give us a close-up of that. Please. I'm people... I'm 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 really like positively surprised at how well they managed to recap everything while also giving you context from the first uh, book. Right. George must have flown that car five or six times, and they never had an accident. I really thought we'd get expelled for sure. Come on, Ron, let's go to the Gryffindor common room. Do you think you can remember the way? No problem. Follow me. So yeah, uh, I love those establishing shots whenever you enter a new location in the castle. Yeah. And, and this time, we didn't get glitched out music like the first game when we started off. <laughs> but it off. did lead to our amazing intro. Yes. That intro also, that almost... uh, if we go to the third floor, is that still going to result in a most painful death? Well, Dumbledore does not actually appear in this game. Um, what the so... fuck? I... Why? Like, I think they just kind of forgot. 
Like, he appears <laughs> only in the book cutscenes. And, like, at the ass end. And I mean, like, ass end of the game. Harry Potter mustn't stay at Hogwarts. <laughs> so, hey there. Look so here. Davi's, so Davi, in order to try and keep you away, tries to murder you? Didn't he try to do that in the in the book as well? I, That's accurate. I mean, it's been a while, but I don't think so? Well... Wow! Harry Potter! It's really you! I'm Colin Creevy. I'm in Gryffindor too. Would it be alright if I took your picture? Everyone told me about how you survived when you know who tried to kill you. And you really do have that lightning scar on your forehead. It's brilliant here, isn't it? They made sure that Colin was really, really annoying and they succeeded. In any case. Wait. But well, before you go forward, though, I gotta give this version a point that the other two versions of this game do not do. This game actually establishes Colin before the scene later. Right into the Whomping Willow. People will be talking about that one for years. Brilliant! What an entrance! Yes, and also Colin is actually quite important. We'd better get to the common room before Snape sees us. Uh, he uh, he's related to a certain very cool mechanic that this game has, which I'm not gonna use, but it's cool nonetheless. But yeah, it's, like, uh, it's for completion. Uh, it's for completion's sake. Let's put uh, it this way. So yeah, that that is one thing the PS1 game has up on the PS2 and PC ones. Mm-hmm. Because even though the PC version was actually uh, fairly like straightforward and accurate and didn't uh, didn't like. Look, there's Lockhart's office. I'm surprised he can get his big head through the door. Didn't have quite as many leaps in logic as the PS2 game did. Um, <laughs> it still missed out on a lot more stuff than this uh, than uh, this game actually uh, that this game actually covers, which is why I think this uh, like this version overall is probably the one I would just like if you were gonna play one Harry Potter two game, uh, play this one. <laughs> Noted. Or if you're gonna play one PS1 Harry Potter game, uh, play this one. Yeah, play, play play the PS1 one because because then you get your match starting in five minutes. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I just mean like if you're if you're gonna play only one Harry Potter on the PS1, uh, yeah. this one is the better one of the two because there are no peacocks, there is no minecart, <laughs> and. <laughs> The game's overall like better pay is even faster. Yeah. And here, uh, like I was, I can't really interact with too many things, and that is not because the game prevents you from doing that, mind you. It is because I forgot uh, which button to use for that, which is just silly of me. Just as it was silly of me to uh, walk back the corridor, I was very, I was very not nice to my PS One. I didn't edit that. It just happened in the game, and then it and then it stopped. My, my controller didn't stop working. <laughs> it's a great start. The magic of Harry Potter. The magic of Harry Potter on the PlayStation One, but everything is fine now. Uh, this is also the reason uh, why I keep the auto save. Yeah. It's it it's it's little it's little precious miracles like that which keep me from disabling that feature password uh pig snout caput draconis i'm sorry but that is not the password oh no we don't know the password for the pink lady's portrait now we won't be able to get in ron you were here to see if another gryffindor passes by i'll find hermione she'll know the password uh, Harry's voice actor is so much better than what his what his model animation actually leads Does, on yeah. to. 
<laughs> like, assuming it is the same kid across the first three games, it, like, it he really does improve. Mm-hmm. Like, he wasn't bad in the first game at all, actually. Oh, no, game. not at all. I'm just saying it's still a noticeable jump. Yes, what a fine day. You look happy, Nick. That I am, Harry. I sent a letter today to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore. It's my application to join the Headless Hunt. In fact, as I was telling your friend Hermione Granger, joining the Headless Hunt has been a dream of mine for some time. Is Hermione here? Of course. Be careful, though. There are some rather mischievous books around. Use your knockback jinx to put them in their place. All right. So unlike in the uh, in the PS2 game, uh, books are not the most impossible enemy in the entire game. Uh, oh, they're wow. actually they're actually one of the easier things to ca take care of. But we are of course going to uh, going to collect uh, the beans first. Uh, there are way more beans in this game there, than there is. Th then there is any reason for there to be. Like, you can't buy this many things. Let's put it this way. And also there is no limit to uh, collecting beans. Um, not that I could find. Uh, you can neither is there any, like, limit to how many... Well, there is no limit to how many you can carry. There is, however, a limit to however how many you can uh, collect in the game. Like, they don't respawn. But at the same time, there is also no way to lose them, so I don't understand why there is so many. So oh, wait, you use beans to buy stuff in this? You only buy cars, and you can only buy, like, so many, you know? But does that mean we get to hear my favorite line ever? Well, there is only one way to find out, keep watching. <laughs> God damn you. I have that as a ringtone for a reason, damn you. <laughs> no, sadly, it's not 30 beans, it's 50. Oh, come on! That is some bull. Okay, this game's crap. Go PS2 version. Harry, I can't believe that you and Ron are so irresponsible. You could have been killed, or worse, expelled. The password for the pink lady is what I heard. Of course, you would have known this if you'd managed to get to school on time. Harry, don't forget to keep checking your report card. I refuse to take that kind of shit from a girl who's walking around in a Christmas sweater. I just, I just love how they how they dropped the book from her model, but instead gave her sassy poses. <laughs> right. Make her more Sheena-like. They, they did make her more Sheena-like. <laughs> I, I'm not exactly sure if any of our viewers m know what Sheena-like means. I guess, I guess they could get it from, from all of the context that we have provided. <laughs> from all the other games, yes. Yes, where Sheena was the main character, or, yes. or otherwise. Mm-hmm. We really need to get into the common room. Working on it. Password. Wattle bird. And so we left Ron outside. We never told him what the password was. No, so he's locked out forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck Ron. He will starve to death. <laughs> Looks like this year they're awarding house cups for excellence in herbology and defense against the dark arts. It would be great if Gryffindor won them. Come on, you two. Herbology's about to start. You don't want to be late for that, too. I forgot how much I missed her. Come on, Harry. Ah, uh, this is lovely. So there, there, there are... Have you heard about the secret founder jewels yet? Behind us is a statue. You can use it to find the entrances to the secret founder jewels. Defeat each Founder House duelist to win a Hogwarts Founder Famous Witches and Wizards card. Collect them all, and you can enter the special Founder's Tower. No one we know has ever managed to beat all the Founder duelists and enter the Founder's Tower. We'd really like to know what's inside. 
That's where you come in, Harry. We think you have the potential to defeat every duelist and win all the Founder's Wizards cards. To open up each of the duels, you have to have a certain number of famous witches and wizards cards. Everyone knows that finding famous witches and wizards cards can be very difficult. So, we're willing to sell you five of them, Harry. It's a good deal. Give us 50 Bertie Bots every flavor beans, and we'll give you a famous witches and wizards card in return. <sighs> you have 50 every flavor beans. Have a famous witches and wizards card. Ignatia Wildsmith. I have more. It just doesn't have the same magic. Every favor beans. Have a famous witches and wizards card. Greta catch love. Brilliant. You have fifty every favor beans. Have a famous witches and wizards card. Chauncey Oldridge. Brilliant. You have fifty every favor beans. Have a famous witches and wizards. <laughs> Herpo's a foul. That's all they ever have to say. <laughs> uh, it is sad, but here, Colin's photo album. This is what I meant with Colin being actually incredibly useful in this game. Um, you can uh, you remember how I told you that it, while there are missable things from stuff like mini games in different chapters, you can actually uh -huh. replay every chapter. So Colin's been stalking us since day one. Exactly. Oh my god! That's horrifying! Mm-hmm. Where, where did where did he get those pics, though? Like, he, he had to be directly under our nose and we didn't notice. He's he, ha he has an invisibility cloak, turns out. Yeah, it's one of the, the mystical item that was a plot point in the, in, in the last book. Yeah. Colin has another. <laughs> 